Good morning, subbies, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. It is a fourth today. Yes, it is. I have just finished work. I had a four hour shift today from half past six in the morning till half past ten, which you will all know, which you will all have known about. But this morning I didn't um, have the time to vlog. I didn't want you to look at me like I was a state. Course, I was up at quarter past five this morning and I had just got home as it's now like 10 30, 7 38. I don't know what time it is. It's now 10 39 in the morning and I've just got home. I must say, it feels very, very weird finishing at this time because normally I finish at one or three o'clock. So, yeah, but that shift was a good shift, went really fast, and I had a great time at work, and I've been paid overtime, so yes, I'm now going to show you my advent calendar, and the worst thing is, it isn't time for lunchtime, and I am starving, so yes, I'll show you my advent calendar now. Here it is, number four. Oh, oh, this is different, this is very different. It is a snowball. It's a milk chocolate snowdrop. Milk chocolate drops of heaven with a forty with a creamy double milk filling. Oh, that sounds rather nice. So yes, I am probably going to have like a hot chocolate because I'm so cold. I do have some hot chocolate pouches in my wardrobe which I have spare, so I'm probably going to do that. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on my finger today because I found out where the cut is on my nail as when I hurt my nail, what's it doing? Oh, there we go. When I um, hurt my finger it went on my nail as well and I've got a cut at the bottom like of the nail bed here and it is a proper deep cut so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. I'm going to keep it washed and probably put like plaster over it just to help it heal if it heals. Um, but yes, I cannot believe I finished work. It feels really weird. Like, I don't know what to do with this today. I'm decorating my bedroom today. So that's good. Yeah. So I shall see you in a bit. And I'm off out tomorrow as well. So that's good. Just got back from the shop. Um. Went down, bought some quavers for my lunch. As it's now 12 or 6 and that. I've just remembered I've got to do my bedroom. Just forgot. I just remembered. Oh, just bought some quavers. Thinking about putting plasters on this finger. It looks quite bad on camera. It's. I'm worried if it's, I'm worried it's an infection. I think it might be. But I don't want to go to the doctor just in case it's not, does that mean? Anyway, I'm going to have my lunch now. I'm going to take you downstairs. My battery is actually getting low. So, you're going to have to be wary of that. Just in case I film a lot. So, I'm going to be doing my bedroom today. So happy. But... Just gonna get some chocolate out of my wardrobe now that it's gone into the darkness of my wardrobe. I'm just trying to find which chocolate I want because it's when I'm in the mood for it. Like I'm in proper mood for actual chocolate instead of like a combination wardrobe. I'm like in a proper mood for actual chocolate instead of like a mineral. But I need to eat this before I buy any more. I'll see what I feel like after having my actual lunch. Just close my doors. Yeah, I'm going to shove two glasses on this finger. Just so I stop knocking it and then you should send me downstairs. Yes, I am back in my bedroom. What a surprise. So, I have just made a doctor's appointment. Um, I am rather worried about my finger. I will inform you when I get home. Inform, that's a big word. I will inform you when I get home. I will explain to you why I went to the doctors and 
I'll explain the outcome hopefully that it isn't infected and that I don't actually need anything for it or anything like that I just really want to get it checked out it happened on Saturday and I just want to get it checked out just in case it needs Anti I need antibiotics or I need any kind of jabs so yeah I'll explain why I want to get home but yes I've had my lunch I had a ham sandwich and two packets of crisps my appointment is later on so I'm getting picked up for that you are not going to be coming with me um I am going to deck up my bedroom eventually it's only at the moment it is 151 at the moment um here's Queenie You say hi. <laughs> she said hi. Okay. So yeah, um, just wanted to update you on that. Yes, I am going to um, show you more than my bedroom today. Um, hopefully, I am going to be going out tomorrow. I'm planning on going out tomorrow, but that kind of rests in what my finger is like as in at the doctors um i've got quite a few videos filmed this camera is currently on 19 percent battery so it looks like i'm going to have to charge this before i film again um but yes i'm sorry it's all my bedroom at the moment <sighs> just had a palpitation oh for goodness sake stop so yeah i feel really bad I'm going to be going that tomorrow so you get more than my bedroom tomorrow and that is not a spot actually that is a spot how nice um yeah I'm not going to constantly keep an update you i just show you what I'm doing more than updating you but yeah that's going to basically be it it feels really weird it's only one o'clock because obviously I don't finish at one and it's just weird knowing it's another two o'clock I should say because I finished half ten this morning it's already, it's already two o'clock I finished work half ten. Wow. I shall see you in a bit. What a boring day for you all to watch my YouTube channel and nothing happen. Another day of Rachel's life. Basically today I have had work, told you this morning, came home, I sat down, went back to work as I had to do something and then I came home, had lunch, ran the doctor's up, made a doctor's appointment which is to go to which I'll tell the results of now and picked Lucy up and that's basically it, it's now half past six at night and I'm currently making myself some pasta and cheese um, just for, it's just cooking and as you can see I have not decorated today but I have taken the signs down there and over there as well just preparing for tomorrow as I am definitely decorating tomorrow and I am definitely going out and I am definitely in Good British Art Foundation so I've been to the doctors today um, I got back two hours ago well my doctor's appointment was at 4.40 and I um, uh, basically went for my finger and what happened was, was that, was that basically on Saturday morning, well it was Saturday night, Sunday morning, 2 o'clock on Sat Sunday morning, I, as you all know, was editing my video and when I went to bed, Queenie was under my bed and I'm telling you the truth now, Queenie was under my bed and it was 2 o'clock in the morning and she needs to be in the kitchen on a night. So... I went into my bed with my torch and my phone and grabbed her by the scruff as she was asleep but when I went under she woke up and I grabbed her by the scruff which you're allowed to do because that's where um, the mummy mummy babies as I can say where mummy cats um, grab the grab them to carry the kittens around so even vets do it everyone well, not everyone does it but you're allowed to do it so I grabbed Queenie by the scruff and she wasn't happy at all she went for my hand and knowing I've not got much room in the under my bed to actually move I um, she bit my hand and she bit my finger I should say and because I didn't have much room to move I didn't manage to pull away on time and she kept biting it and I've got three bite marks on my finger and when I came out I basically had a blood soaked finger it had got blood all around my nail and underneath as well so into the bathroom I washed it off with water kept water running under it because it just would not stop bleeding I didn't know where she actually bit me and then I put um, some 
yes, yeah, might sound weird, but tried it well, it had not been used, so I put toilet run on it just to keep pressure on it because it's very, it was bleeding for a bit of a while, and I was started shaking because I just couldn't believe what happened, and I went to, like, I thought it was shock, it probably was shock. So then, the next day, I went to bed, and during the night, it did bleed, um, which is understandable, as the next morning when I woke up, I figured out that she actually bit me in three places, under the finger, on the fingernail, and beside the fingernail. Beside the fingernail one's all right, it's healing. The one under the nail um, has swollen up. My finger's swollen up, it's gone down since though. So. But the under the nail has swollen up and it's healing. And it's got a scab, but it's gone red, so that's what made me go to the doctors today. And then on the nail, this is the worst thing, is that she's actually been through the nail and she has um, cut the nails. Like, if you think of, like, when you... How can I explain this? If you break a nail, like, there, or, like, f further up, but you want to keep it on and you can't take it off, it's like that, but mine's at the nail bed, which is right there, which you can actually see a little bit of blood, because it's healing. And I'm going to have to wait till that grows out, which means... I probably cannot put nail varnish on it because it will sting like heck as nail varnish will get into it. I only realised that today because I couldn't find where the actual cut was until today at work which was rather dramatic, well not dramatic, I was at work and I was like where's the blood coming from, I want to know where it's coming from. I looked at the nail and I pulled it back a bit and there it was. And the white bit is now going purple and is bruising up like heck. So I'm waiting for that, I'm glad it's going to take a couple of months to actually grow out, we can see it on camera there. But yeah, she basically could beat me and I was, at the time I was scared that I was going to um, get infected because obviously she's fully inoculated, she's had a full, all the boosters, all the vaccinations are up to date. But obviously the mouth is not clean all the time, you don't know where they've been, don't know if they've been hunting. Saturday and Sunday I couldn't go to the doctors. It was actually Sunday morning so I couldn't go to the doctors. So Monday, yesterday I went to work. And I told my supervisor and my manager and they said that, just so they were aware of it, and they said that I should probably go to doctors and then I told my grandma on Sunday and she said to keep an eye on it. So yesterday I was going to go to doctors after work and then today, yesterday didn't bother, I was like I'd keep an eye on it. And today I've got myself worried about with that I might need a tetanus jab and that it might be infected because it's got red. I've been to the doctors, so I've run to the doctors, and I've been to the doctors, and he has prescribed me antibiotics, which I will he said, do not get or do not take, right, do not get and do not get them until you necessarily need them. They're just there if I need them, just in case it actually does end up um making pus, but I highly doubt it because it has gone down quite a bit since it happened. It does still hurt to bend it and I can't I'm still I'm kind of doing physio on it just so it can blood circulation I try to get it to mend quickly but it's giving me antibiotics which I don't have I'm not I only take if it gets worse like if it swells up like really big and if it um squeak like pus comes out of it so at the moment it's fine I highly doubt I'm going to take the antibiotics I'm not going to buy them last time last time I had tonsillitis I went to the exact same doctor and he prescribed me antibiotics, I bought them, I didn't use them, and unfortunately because I took them out of the chemist, I wasn't allowed to refund. So I got them destroyed. So yeah, that's basically what happened, that's the truth. It was my own fault that I grabbed the bad growth, she got angry at me, I, it's not her fault at all. And yes, that's basically it. So just keeping that in it, just keeping it clean, and just for keeping an update on my finger. So yeah, I'm not going to check my pasta because I did put boiling water in it, so yeah. I'll go check the pasta now. Right, so I'm back in my bedroom. It is now 7.27 in the evening and I am going to probably end this vlog here. Yes, today has been another update day where I've not actually gone out, not shown you around the house and not vlogged. But today has been a very, I've got a really big spot there. Like, I had work this morning and just been busy the rest of the day. So, me and Mum have just played Trivial Purs Pursuit and that was quite a fun game. I wanted to play again, but we've put it away. And that's going to be it for the rest of the night, to be honest with you guys. I've got something on my camera. 
But yes, I shall see you tomorrow and tomorrow's video shall be a whole lot better as I'm going out. And I'm definitely decorating to my bedroom tomorrow and I will be taking you out with me um, to Geisley probably. So yes, I shall see you all tomorrow guys with a brand new video. So yeah guys, remember to like this video, subscribe, comment below. Yes, I must apologise, video has been very rubbish. Sorry about that. I shall see you all tomorrow guys, brand new video. Bye bye.